Hey everybody, so we are here and we're about to make cheesy chicken Alfredo right Oh, it is like right there. Uh, we're gonna make cheesy, I had, it, I had it right, except for pasta bake. Cheesy chicken Alfredo pasta bake. And Beauty. we're doing it because Stafford is forcing us into this like cooking at home thing. For one, it saves us money, supposedly. I don't like this whole forcing thing. Supposedly it saves us money. It does. However, no, we the last the last meal we made cost us thirty thirty dollars to make. It did not cost us thirty no 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 no. At the grocery store. Yeah. We went to the grocery no. store and spent thirty dollars on food supplies. No 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 no. No, no. Yes uh -huh. we did. No, we spent twenty dollars on supplies for the meal and then you spent an extra ten dollars on whatever you bought. I don't think so. Mm, no, I counted. All of these, the only expensive one is this breakfast burrito thing, and that's like $25. No, the last time. The last time we made food was 30 bucks. <laughs> no one <no. coughs> <coughs> Are you okay? The lasagna? Whenever Stafford lies, he starts to cough. The but lasagna? continue, Stafford. <coughs> the lasagna one? <laughs> Anyway, that was a question. I don't know. I think so. Anyway, can we just throw this away? I don't yeah, feel like it. cutting up. Parsley. Throw it away. Anyway, <laughs> so it costs less money, and it's better for us. Except for I feel like I eat more. It's it's maybe better for you, but I eat more of it because it is good. And I need to lose weight. He needs to gain weight. I don't know if this helps <coughs> with that with either. Yeah? No? Maybe. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. We're making this and... This is disgusting. Do you see this? It's that's blood. disgusting. Why is it disgusting? Don't tell me what it is. It's disgusting. It's blood. It's, it's chicken disgusting! Blood. Whenever they cut up stop, the chicken... Stop, babe, stop. <laughs> Welcome to my world. So, yeah, we're going to make that and video it for you. Yay! Record it? Video. Okay. Okay, record it for you. Anyway, and we're gonna get to that. Can you give me the chef's knife, babe? Okay, I'm gonna go for now. We'll be back. All right, so this recipe calls for uh, cutting up the chicken, which we're getting ready to do, which I will do. Um, and then we're going to cut that up into what size pieces? Cubed. Cubed pieces. And then we're gonna season it with? Salt, pepper, and garlic. Salt, pepper, and garlic. And then it calls for us to uh, cook it in olive oil. Olive oil. And the, the recipe calls for one tablespoon of olive oil, three chicken breasts, which we're just going to use that one, which is a big chicken breast. Um, four garlic cloves minced, which we buy in like a jar form. And, ah, um, spice world. Spice up your life, every boy and every girl. Spice up your life, people of the world. Spice so up your there life. There is that. Oh, chicken is fun. You're having a good time. If you know what you feel, fine. Ha, ha. Go around. Yeah. I'm done. Okay. And. Uh, Hi, see, yeah, hold tight. Okay, okay we're done. Two and a half cups of chicken broth, two and a half cups of heavy cream. Do you oh. think your followers will recognize that? Will be like, oh, he started singing Spice Girls, Spice Up Your Life, because the jar is Spice World and they had an album called Spice World. Do you think they'll make that connection? Well, now that I'm telling them they're gonna make that connection, but yeah. like, do you think before they? I think that maybe we should have just left it and then seen and then be like, oh. But no one would have been then, like, LOL, Spice World, I appreciate that. You know, in photography classes, they tell us to not make it obvious. Oh, well. To not be like, oh, this is what you should be seeing. Instead, let them see it for themselves. And then it's like a ha ha moment, they feel like they're smart. But you just explained it like they're dumb. Well, maybe they explained, maybe they thought that they were smart and then I explained it and they're like, oh, maybe I'm not that clever. I don't maybe, know. maybe that. Anyway, um, a pound of uncooked penne, penne, penne uh, pasta, two cups of parmesan, two cups of mozzarella, mozzarella, and yeah. Don't do that. So, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's, I didn't tell you in the first part of the video, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to start that now. And I guess this is going to take... How long does this take, Steph? I have no idea. Ooh, that's a thing that we should start notating. Like, how long it takes. 
Oh, he's he, we're like creating a recipe book, or he is creating a recipe book, recipe book that we can eventually pass on to our kids, maybe. Mm-hmm. I think that's my goal with it, anyway. And then just make normal food like every like these are going to become constant meals, I think. But yeah, uh, it would be nice to note. Okay, we're gonna let you go, and we will talk in a minute. Hey, Steph, if I hit this top button, it shuts it off, right? All right, so we have cut up the chicken into cubes, and we have seasoned it, and now we're putting it into the oil. The cubes. Yum. All right. So what do you guys call this? It, Turner. Like, at the store they call it a Turner. I've always called it just a spatula, but the spatulas I guess are the ones that you use to put like icing on a cake or whatever. I guess that's actually a spatula, but I have actually always called this thing a spatula. Never called it a Turner, didn't know what the hell a Turner was. I had never heard the term Turner until we went to the shop to go buy one and found out that <laughs> it's actually a Turner, not a spatula. What'd you add? Uh, chicken broth. We're not done with it though. Oh. It's a cup and a half or two and a half cups. What is it? <laughs> so that was two cups. Okay. And so this is a half. Okay. I'm gonna do the same with the heavy whipping cream. Okay. Two and a half or? Two and a half, yep. Wow. It's a lot. Yeah, so it's gonna be five cups all together. So that's two cups. Give it a half. Does, do cartons go recycling? Mm. You can throw it away. I don't know. You just pour those in, they're not supposed to be cooked? Nope, uncooked. Okay. So you pour, pour them in, give them a little... How much is it? How many? It's a pound. Give it a little bit of a stir. And then you're going to bring this to a boil. Okay. And then wait, pay something. Nice. All right, so we just had a mishap. Um, this thing is too small for cooking this in. And we brought it to a boil and it ended up boiling over. So now we are we keep it at low for how long? I don't know. What does it say? 15 to 20 minutes. Okay. Hopefully it doesn't boil over again. It kind of looks like it's getting there. So we may have to transfer it to something else. We will see. Okay, it's slowed its roll and has calmed down to where it's not like boiling over. We didn't have to transfer. We didn't have to transfer it to a bigger pot or anything, which is great. And now we're waiting like two more minutes and then... One more minute. Oh, one more minute and I guess we add cheese. Yay. I love cheese. You gotta love cheese. Actually, I don't really love cheese. I you like used cheese. To. I used to whenever. Okay, so story time. Story time. Whenever I was um, very little, like two, I think, my mom got me hooked on uh, cheese, and like I loved cheese so much that every time she would ask what I'd want to eat, it was always cheese, please, and so I would have cheese like for every meal. Um, I don't know that it happened, but I probably would have had cheese on my um, cereal in the morning, cheese. I know I had cheese on my hot dogs, extra cheese on pizza, cheese on my hamburger, cheese on everything that should have cheese and everything that probably shouldn't have cheese. I had cheese. And then whenever I got to be like three or four, I had had so much cheese that I was like burnt out on cheese. I hated cheese on everything. I would not eat cheese on hamburgers. I would not eat cheese on anything. I absolutely hated it. The taste of it was like numbing. It was just so gross to me. And I only started liking cheese again probably in the last like couple of years. And then gradually I've been eating more and more cheese and liking it more. Uh, I still can't eat like a ton of like, I don't like American cheese a whole lot. Like I can do American cheese on like a hamburger. 
one slice, not like something crazy. But American cheese is not not good to me. It's it's okay like on a hamper, and that's about the just of it. Ow! But yeah, that's my story on cheese. And he is burning himself, and we have reached our one minute. So, oh, yay. fun fact, I'm never lifting a, 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 a lid, just wear a glove. Oven man. Same shit. Same shit, I guess. All right, so now what do we do? Okay, so we're going to take um, a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese. Okay. Which happens to be this entire bag. Oh, yeah, I love over. Parmesan cheese. So upon further inspection, I watched a tasty video and you're actually okay. supposed to uh, do it in a pot. But that's okay. Do it in a pot. In a pot. Oh. But the pan, they, they start out, oh, the pan they sear the chicken in is like just a pan. Mm -hmm. And then they move that to a pot. I didn't watch the rest of that part. So oh. Okay. So no biggie. Know. We're just making it work as we go. Like always. I hate my life. Find it. What's wrong? Oh, you're gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna go and transfer it to a pot. You got it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, whenever we do our recipes, they're usually tasty recipes. Uh, recipes that he has actually found online through... Is, does Tasty Buzzfeed. have a website? Other than Buzzfeed? Uh, I use their YouTube. Uh, just look up Tasty. They have YouTube videos. It's a site. It's a thing through Buzzfeed. Buzzfeed does it. So, yeah. So, just if you're ever wondering where we're getting recipes, they come from there. So, if you look up whatever it is I'm saying, it'll be a recipe there and everything. To do it 100% correct, we just kind of do it our own way. Excuse me. And it's more fun. We do it 100% correct. Okay. Except for whenever they suggest we use a pot and we don't. I didn't read that far ahead. God, you're so awful. <laughs> no. Alright. Okay, we'll be back. Bye. Alright, so now he's going to put about half of this. You got it? Mm-hmm into a pan, Nine baking by pan, 9 by 13, I guess. Spread that out. Put a little bit more, make sure it's even. Okay. Do, 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 do. <coughs> awesome sauce. Awesome to. sauce. That's actually sauce. Sprinkle one cup of mozzi cheese on it. Okay. I like to hand sprinkle it. I could have just sprinkled it out of the cup, but then it becomes really uneven and weird. No, thank you. I don't know why I'm trying so hard on this. It's gonna get like six views. <laughs> it's true. I'm trying to be like my best Paladin. Oh. Without the language. Except I'm black, so I can say that. Mm, you can't. Can. Anyway. It's a roll. It's not. Layer the remaining half of the pasta evenly on top. Look at that. I feel like this is layered pretty evenly on top. Do you feel like it? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Okay. Do you think we're done? Because we, we ain't done. What else do we have to do? We so cook. next, we're going to sprinkle one cup of mozzarella. So this was a two cup bag, so I took okay. one cup out. I'm gonna sprinkle this other cup on. This is where it gets like really good. When you add all the cheese, it becomes really thick and wonderful. And one thing that I really like about the cheese is that it 
I don't know. I don't have a tip here. But <laughs> Rachel Ray would, and that's I don't know. I feel like that's how you properly do a cooking show. Like whenever yes, things you are have taking, some kind of story. Whenever things yes, are taking kind of too filler. long, you're like, oh, like my cheese well, story. Let me tell you a tip about cheese. Like, no, you don't have a tip about cheese. Shut up. <laughs> What's your favorite mozzarella dish? Well, I would say my favorite mozzarella dish is a... Um, Our favorite thing to use mozzarella on. Mmm, I would say like a chicken parmesan. Mmm. Yes, those are really good. So, next we're going to take half a cup of parmesan. Okay. Which I don't know what half a cup looks like, so... Oh, good. I'm just, <laughs> just put whatever on there. It seems like it took me like three pinchfuls of mozzarella to get to a cup. So we're going to say about two and a half pinchfuls. I don't That's know. good math. I hate you. <laughs> All but right. I want to layer it so that I can still see some of the, uh, the mozzarella from under the Parmesan. What do we have the oven on? Uh, it's broiling. Broil, huh? Yeah, so we're just going to broil mm -hmm. it on high. Okay. For how long? Uh, 10 to 15 minutes, or until the cheese is golden brown. Awesome. How long okay. do you think it'll take for the cheese to become golden brown? Uh, probably about 12 minutes. Should I put it on the top or the bottom? Uh, put it in the middle. Bottom. I always put it on the bottom. I should probably put it on the top, because that's where the heat's coming from, right? Okay, I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Same thing. Cool. We'll be back. Bye. All right. So we pulled it out, and this is what it looks like. Doesn't it look amazing? It looks like cheesy goodness. Mm. Ready to transfer? Where are we transfer? To the plate. Or should we let it sit for a second? I'll probably let it sit for just a minute. All right, we have pulled out of the oven and let it cool. And I have something to admit: I love King's Hawaiian sweet rolls. Like I, I'm addicted to them. I love them. And so we have actually put some of them in the oven to go with our meal. What else did you add to them? Oh, butter. But I always put butter. Well, they don't know that. I, I think that, it, okay, well, to me, the I natural, the natural, butter. like, uh, transition to that would be to put them in the oven and then put butter. Like, every, it needs butter. If you're going to have a roll, that roll needs butter. But a lot of people don't eat butter with their rolls, I guess. But I do. That's just not me. Hawaiian, so I used to not eat Hawaiian rolls with butter. Okay. But now I do. Good, but you like it. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. So, butter is suggested. All right. There you go. Yay. You got it. You have to do like so that is it for the uh, chicken Alfredo pasta bake uh, from Tasty. Creamy, so creamy chicken okay. cheesy, chicken uh, cheesy chicken Alfredo pasta bake. So if you want to try it, you want the recipe, recipe look up Tasty on uh, YouTube. You're not going to put the link below? And No, I won't put the link below. You can go find it. Um, Do it go find tasty recipes. There are a ton of them to go try out. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you like us. If you don't like us, don't subscribe. If you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. I don't mind. It doesn't affect me. Do whatever you'd like. Also, if you like the video and want to make a comment, please make a comment. I'd love to hear from you. I, I try to respond to them as much as I can. Also, if you have any tasty recipes that you think we should try out, that you've tried out that are really good, then let us know. Cause yeah, cool. that. So if you, what he said was, if you can't hear it, I don't know, but uh, if humble. you've tried tasty recipes and you think we need to try one, let us know which one and we will try it out. We'll try to do a video and cook it. Um, if you have a personal recipe you want us to try, give it to us and we will try it out and... Except one, my one pet peeve, don't make me go to the store and buy 8,000 ingredients. I ain't about that. Like, keep it simple. If I don't, if, if you want me to put basil 
Okay. To garnish it, then don't. I don't need garnish. Okay. So fine. I anyway, so yeah, so no, no, no. Don't give us, go give us a recipe, and we will cook it. Have a great day, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe. Bye. <laughs>